previously on the Mike Knox show. Well, I mean, damn. I, I don't know. I, I, you know what? Resumes don't matter. None of that stuff matters. Confirmed for WrestleMania. Y'all, are y'all ready for the biggest joke of hashtag death to dirt sheets I've ever came up with in my entire life and never heard in my entire life? LA Knight, are you ready? Yeah! I know. Rock, are you ready? Just bring it, bitch. I mean, even Farouk got to come. Damn. Tony Khan himself is watching this and saying, what in the bloody hell are you guys talking about? Welcome to the Mike Knox Show. I am your host, Mike Knox. And indeed, I spelled my name with three X's because like the bullshit you guys read as wrestling fans, who I don't know how you can call yourself wrestling fans. I am hardcore people. Listen, welcome back to the show for the intelligent wrestling fan right here on Unpopper Reviews Wrestling. Let's go around the blocks with Mike Knox before you go down this road. It's not yellow. It's not glowing like Michael Jackson's Billie Jean. It's just the road to WrestleMania. Are you going? Are you excited? I mean, last time we were here, we know what the possibilities were, right? And then we got Raw last week. We got a kickoff press conference. I mean, damn. Wrestling was as hot you know I gotta say it, Dice. I, I'm old, right? So I, know, I, I repeat myself, DJ. Avoid the clap, Jimmy Dugan. Those who know the movie and love a league of their own, know where that come from? Because that's good advice, kid. Okay? That's how hot the wrestling business has been. The chat, everybody, I will get to you momentarily. Do me a favor, guys. Please like, follow, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. All right? Unpop Review Wrestling. Unpop Review Entertainment. The Mike Knox Show, the Z is Silent, the Victorious Ones podcast. I got my producers holding me down backstage. Both of them, 301 King Vaughn Jr. on the Twitter, the Victorious Ones podcast. Ayatollahs, rock and rollers, stars, quasars, and all that fancy shit. That's my guy. Holla at me. All right? Let's get those tweets together, though, my brother. We're going to get it. We're going to build this right. We're going to keep building this thing. Michael, put that back up, please. <laughs> you are the leader of the Knox pack, of the, of the Knoxers, when it comes to this right here, hashtag get the dirt sheets. Because it's not that, I, I, I put a question, right, Vaughn? Z is silent backstage as well, Dice Man. And the Jobber Tears group, right? And I've never really posted there. I'm a comment guy, I'm a liking whatever kind of guy. But I don't really write things because I hate feedback that, because wrestling fans are <laughs> more than fickle, okay? So, I put, what is wrestlers, what is wrestling fans' problems? And literally, the response has been overwhelming with, I would say, overpowering 80% of the right gear towards the right thing, which is what I've been saying for years. Grand Body P holding us down in the UK. As I've been saying for years, what's going on, Tennis? Welcome back to the program, man. What's going on, brother? I miss you, man. What's up? Where that gear at, baby? I know. Listen, me and Dice got your back. All right. <laughs> so drop the link. Let us know. Okay. But this, this, this wrestling thing, people, it's it's beyond our fault, right? So let's just get into it. Cause I saw this, right? Let, let's be honest. No one believes this shit, right? Right. That's what you to see. This right. Uh, no one. I saw this in multiple places. So I can't even say it was Joe's Blow's dirt sheet, right? It was the ghost of Christmas Marvin Gaye's passes uh, playlist. This is not the Iron Curtain Ahmed Johnson that was brought to you by Mike Knox. It's podcast. No, not at all. Not a shot. It's just a factor on it. Okay. But this is just truly blows me. You know, and don't get me wrong. Let me be quiet before I get canceled too. Right. Let's just leave that right there. <laughs> okay. So. What blew me, right, was that multiple people believe this narcissist, that's the wrong word. Sorry, Lex Luthor. Luther. Shit. I was, Lex is going to be, it's only one Lex, damn it, and, and, and Luger can't have it. It belongs to Lex Luthor, okay? So I always call him the same name. I can't blame that one on being old, Dice. That's just me not having to get their names confused. <laughs> that's, a, that's a Mike Knox problem. But what's not a Mike Knox problem is 
this shit right here. Triple H has a, a pacemaker. Not a retainer. He ain't got the fronts of Kanye West. He ain't got a broken wrist like Kevin Owens. Yeah, he ain't even got a stint around his heart, which you can probably maybe think, you know, maybe with a stint. I don't know. You know, I'm going to say hell no. I don't know. But I do know in a pacemaker. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm sounding stupid, please, Dice Man, come on and tell me, Michael, shut the fuck up. But I think I'm accurate in this one that you can't wrestle with a pacemaker. Okay? When Triple H steps in the stage and press conferences and kickoffs, even in, even in his stature still being a massive guy, right? Shoulders and all. He doesn't seem the same. I am out of shape with two bad knees and was out of work last year for about six months. I think I can beat Triple H in a race. That's how bad I was. He gonna wrestle? <laughs> Don't tell me uh, Dave reported it to <laughs> the BS. I don't know what Dave report. You know, and since you said it, damn it. <sighs> hey, Dave Meltzer, if you did this dumb shit, fuck you. There it is. <laughs> fuck you, Dave Meltzer. Okay, so, no. We'll, we'll get to this, right? <laughs> when you click on this video, you're thinking, oh, this is really confirmed. No, it's not. And no, I'm not someone who just says, oh, you know, this is a dirt sheet thing. No, this is to purposely get the dirt sheets to probably click on this to say, oh my God, did it stick? No, you missed that one, brother. He's like, ooh, ooh, is, is it in? Yes, it says, no, it's not in. That be all. Y'all just being, y'all just be around the thigh and be hoping to hope that, you know, did, did I spit it on up? All right, I'm going to stop right there while I'm here. Let's get into the weekend pro wrestling, okay? Because this right here was not happening. And we knew the week was coming. Let me see. Let me see. Well, you know what? Before the week of wrestling, guys, anything I miss? Well, F, 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 there's F. Dave Meltzer. You cannot wrestle with a pacemaker. Thank you. Thank you, Vaughn. Okay. Actually, when I first saw that, right, because, you know, I'm, it's coming up as I'm, as, I'm, as I'm talking. So I'm really not trying to pay attention to it in my peripheral. And y'all know I can't see. I ain't got cataracts or nothing. I just can't see. Okay, I, 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 I thought we saw about John Cena. So I thought I saw Peacemaker for a second. <laughs> so it came back up. Yes, Mike. No, I wasn't cheering for Cody back then. Team, bring it all day. Well, you know, I do have on my shirt. Let y'all in on a little thing of business one on one with Mike Knox. Number one, friends and business don't mix. So I tell all the friends that I'm in business with where my priorities lie. And they will all tell you Mike Knox is telling the truth. And shout out to us for no damn reason. You know what? We're going to talk about Usher later. <laughs> We're going to talk about Usher later. So as, as, I'm, as I'm going through this, this thing of pro wrestling, it's, it's making me think like, well, fans, can we just relax? So let's just go through the walk. Let's go through. Also, let's say, and also, fuck the <laughs> so-called journalist who said The Rock was booed in Vegas for, for the uh, Hawaii thing. No, The Rock wasn't booed in Vegas. And anybody who said that, just tell them to get their grandmother's Ayala's glasses. Right? Because you can see that on, on the Peacock. You're happy. I said Peacock. All right? Congrats on getting your new Mania jacket, bro. Listen, throw the ones up. I'm with you, Anthony. Shout out to Chalk Line. Let's just say that. Okay, um, but wrestling fans, man, like, so we left off here going to Raw. Y'all see it everywhere. If y'all didn't see the Raw review show here on Unpop Review, check it out tonight immediately from on Monday Night Raw with the, the original host, the uh, the executive consultant, and Evil Dulce being on there. But, man, after SmackDown, he gave up the spot, the so-called spot, not my spot, not a dog named spot, not a liver spot, not a ball spot, but my spot. Come on, y'all. Where y'all at with that Monday Night Raw reference to the Four Horsemen? But gave up his spot. Seth Rollins comes out wearing his wife's clothes. And I'm going to say that because Roman says that, and he's my tribal chief. So I'm okay to say that because I acknowledge my tribal chief. Okay? But, but if you don't acknowledge your tribal chief, you better respect Seth Rollins because Seth Rollins is worth being respected. Okay? And even though my tribal chief says he dresses like a woman, 
I still respect Seth Rollins, okay? I prefer the Monday Night Messiah, as the Z is silent said on, 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 on the SmackDown review show. But, hey, it's still Seth freaking Rollins. When he gets in the ring, you're going to have to sit there for about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how big the crowd is, okay? So let's not say Seth Rollins is not over. All that bullshit about Seth Rollins and Seth Rollins, that, stop it. Let that shit go. But then Drew McIntyre gets in the ring. Look at that man. The, the perfect specimen of make me champion, okay? With the greatest shirt in wrestling history, if you hate CM Punk. Frankly, I would never buy this shirt, just so you know. I'm a CM Punk super mark, okay? But it's still funny as shit. <laughs> okay, it is hilarious as hell. He definitely didn't get the jacket from the men's section. Oh, no, he definitely did. You know, my wife and I watch uh, 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 Married at First Sight, and the, and the dude said, oh, I like these. He said, yeah, this is like a culture between shorts. We're like, they look like gladiators. So I always said, no, boy, that's, that's called a squirt. Like, <laughs> it's just, I never thought I'd marry a man who shops in the female section. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's, that's, he definitely didn't, right? But Seth Rollins is still holding it down. Like, this shirt's holding it down. You can go get this shirt, by the way, at WBShop.com somewhere. Pie for $40, okay? Uh, uh, Petty Drew is great, Drew. I, I love Petty Drew. And then, you know, this weekend wrestling shit, we just go through. We, we, know, we, we know what we're here for. That bullshit called Confirmed. Right, The Rock and Triple H. That's just funny. That's just some funny shit, right? But boom, we got to give respect to Gunther. And who can come out here and beat Gunther? Nobody, nobody's other favorite. I got to say this. Jay Uso is the second biggest face in the WWE. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, when Usher's performing last night, that's what I'm doing in my house. We're all doing the Jay Uso in the crib, okay? As, as Ursa. Uh, us is performing, but then, then he like, yo, I want this. I need this. Come give me the title, right? So at this point, is this still happening? Because we got the press conference and Cody brings up things like your family. Jason Michael Campbell checks in. How can I respect tr uh, Trash Rollins? I can't even respect wrestlers who wear sneakers to wrestle with. What happened to wrestling boots? Nah, come on, Jason. Wrestling boots left a long time ago, and I know. I will. I don't like the sneaker shit either. Right? But some people out here like lipstick that gets transferred, and I hate that. I'm like, I don't care if she got makeup on. No, if, if her lipstick comes off on a straw or on your neck and your clothes, that ain't good lipstick. So that's my point. Like, who am I to say what you can and can't wrestle in? It didn't hurt John Cena's career, and they find it more comfortable for the things they're doing today in the ring other than boots. But however, as a dog hard wrestling fan, I'm with you. The boots is there. But you gotta give uh, him, him his, his, his respect when he wrestles. He doesn't wrestle in female clothes. Okay, so he's trying to be. Did y'all just see the, the trailer last night for Wicked? Clearly, he was auditioning to be in the Wizard of Oz. That's all he's been doing, just like a mummer ever since. So then, boom, they whoop his ass. Main event Jey Uso since the you know the uh, the New Day, the greatest faction in WWE history, according to the Victorious Ones podcast. Right, uh, comes out to help him. Like, come on, bring it. I'm here for it. But then we get. Mama Thickly, Rhea Thickly, that is, coming out, finna talk her trash. Great picture, by the way. I don't know who picked this picture out. <laughs> Great snapshot. Uh, and then, it don't matter. Just don't bite it. Oh, yeah. The Beauty and the Beast is back. All rolled into one and said, uh, I'm here for this. And they get their match at Elimination Chamber, which disappointed me. But as we go through the weekend, wrestling, we know why that happened. Okay, so that'd be Elimination Chamber. And then we get Cody Rhodes in a match that nobody wants to see. Why is Cody wrestling Shinsuke Nakamura again? Oh, my God. Why is he wrestling Shinsuke Nakamura again? Oh, uh, The Rock did call them the Cody Crybabies. I, I didn't say that. Okay. Oh, I did that. Me, 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 me. You want to go have sex? No, I'm going to complain. Okay. All that stuff. But anyway. Cody gets the big boot from Drew McIntyre, and then we get to the goddamn kickoff, and this is where all hell broke loose, and wrestling fans sit back, relax, and just let me ask you a question. Do I need to put back on the music again? Do we have to sit back and, and just breathe a little bit? Just breathe a little bit. That's all it takes. Please like, follow, and subscribe at this moment, guys. All right, we're going to take a little break. We're going to come right back, and uh, we're going to introduce you guys to a couple of segments that we have. I got the week in wrestling coming up. I got two words of two sweet coming up. But we also got other shows on the network, y'all. So we'll be right back here on the Mike Knox Show. Check out the Unpopular Review Entertainment section. You like comic book movies, 
all that good stuff that's just not professional wrestling. Check that out because coming up this Wednesday for the first time ever, Unpopular Review Entertainment and Unpopular Review Wrestling will bring to you the Husband and Wife Review Show as we review love in WWE on Valentine's Day. See what? So let me show y'all how to do this on camera. How you wrote, how you cheat a woman on camera on Valentine's Day. My wife, she gonna put in work for the network, and I'm gonna show how, show you fools how you do Valentine's Day. And I don't hear that Valentine cards and birthday wishes, please. That just means you a cheap ass motherfucker. Okay, I ain't trying to hear that shit. Or you ain't got no girl. Okay, or you don't know what the hell love is. Cause and yes, I can buy this shit every single day. Damn it, I'm complaining buying it on that day. Okay, it's ridiculous how they triple the price for one damn day. That I buy flowers every time. Now I gotta pay triple the price. Damn you, America! <laughs> God damn America. That's what my that's what my, that's what my president Barack Obama said. Okay, but damn, we got you to kick off. And damn it, <laughs> first Bianca Belair. Now, y'all wondering why she's on the screen right now because she didn't have a match or nothing like that. Well, I'm going to tell you why Bianca Belair is there. Because I just told you we're going to talk about love in WWE. So why would they not show Bianca Belair on the stage? And not to mention, just for nothing, it's Bianca Belair. <laughs> so why not talk about her? So then we got this. <clears throat> I know this made a lot of people mad. Some warned it, some didn't. I said this on the, uh, we did a live Special, which was was thank you guys out there on Pop Review Wrestling that tuned in and stayed in locked into that as we did that live watch along. So um, as I said there, this is nothing that I, I didn't want. I, and that's to me sometimes the best thing in wrestling. When they can give me something that I didn't want, I didn't want to think about, but how they present it to me, it makes sense. And and I and I like this. Okay. I and, and I say, well, how can she do this? And she's not talking about Bianca, I'm um, talking about Becky Lynch. And, and listen, I'm going to say the same thing I say on that show here on the Mike Knox show. She's, in a sense, and I, you know, I don't think she's this person, but um, like Charlotte Flair, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just saying, but she can jump the line. And uh, Jeffrey's comments, why wasn't they there? Because let's just be honest here. Oh, why they wasn't there. They're a match at WrestleMania. They're not this at WrestleMania. And and I know you, what did I say right there? Um, I'm done with Becky, to be honest. Hey, I have never been a, a, a the man Becky Lynch fan ever. I, I respected her and her early grinds on SmackDown when she won the title for the first time in, in Richmond, Virginia, because I was not only because I was there, but it was a good moment at that time. But uh, big time Bex felt good. Cheap Charlotte Pop, damn it, never a cheap Charlotte Pop. You just heard what Grandbody P just said. Sometimes people just come just for that, okay? They come just for that, okay? But I didn't want this moment. I got this moment. I think let's back and watch this moment because it's still it's still the man, uh, uh, Becky Lynch. Then Seth Rollins comes out. I told you he was auditioning for um, Wicked, still holding on to that Bianca versus Rhea at WrestleMania 40. Mm, maybe, maybe. I'll hold out for that as well. Again, this is the beauty of wrestling. Like this right here, what you guys are saying, this is why I love you guys so much, you're intelligent wrestling fans. We're talking what we want to see, not what we heard we would see. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and I like that because that's that's wrestling. That's where we can all sit here and vibe. I'll tell you what I think. When I, like sometimes you say some off the wall shit. You know what I mean? And, and you don't know, but that's not nobody's writing it down saying I heard this somewhere. But we did see this and we saw this outfit that Seth Rollins had on. Okay. And then your tribal chief, Came out and just tongue lashed him. I mean, he did. I, 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 you know, what I'm saying I didn't say that. You know, what I mean, that's what Roman did to him. Okay, so I ain't got to really pause that. Okay, but he did. He did. But also, Seth always told his own to me. Uh, more likes Bianca versus Jaden. No, 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 no. No. Did you see Rollins? John <laughs> was out there talking. Yeah, because he had to do that. He has no choice. Right? And what this era is good at more than any era. And that's because it's like I tell my kids, it's like all of us. This is why I get mad about dirt sheets. We all should be better than 10 years ago. We all know what works. We know what moves needles and what don't. Now, the matter is, are you paying for it or are they organic? Right? Because I've seen people get 40,000 retweets and still only have 100 followers. So what makes you follow a person and do things like that? Right? So 
that's what you gotta look at. But this right here, they he knows that certain people don't like Roman. One of my best friends can't stand Roman. You know what I'm saying? He thinks this title run is just beneath me boring and crazy. Um, the triple threat match. Uh, Liv Morgan shouldn't sniff a world title at WrestleMania, in my opinion. Y'all, y'all talk about people earning things. This is y'all words. What the fuck is Liv earn? Now, recall the story to me, and I maybe can't remember this, that before she left, I remember she gave up her title. If I, is, am, I, am I too far back? <laughs> Help me out. No, no, wrong way. Just come, don't, don't do that. You want to mess up? You mess up the flow. You messing up my scenery. <laughs> Hold on. I can do, hey, you can't hear yourself. So, uh, I don't know why you're muted. So I couldn't hear you. <laughs> Go ahead. I can hear you. She has the best story. Who has the best story? Live. Liv has the best Liv story. Liv has the better story than Becky right now because Liv actually has a point because Liv got injured by Rhea that took her off the shelf. And that's what I was just bringing up, right? I did say unless that happened, I couldn't remember. Okay, and then she also has, for Vaughn's point, she should have something up as far as Bianca getting to that title first because she did eliminate Jade at the Royal Rumble. I, I still get that, okay? I'm still not adding her to a main event. Just because she's Liv Morgan. That's just me. And I reserve reasons for that again. Why later? Because as you see, I've said something last week, right? All of a sudden, like, when you make your noodles, your, your pasta, right? How good are you at making your pasta? Do you still got to throw your noodles on the wall and hope it stick? If you're still doing that, you can't cook. Okay? You learned that when you were like seven years old and your mom said, here, go cook some spaghetti. At least, you know, in my day. You know, we can cook at seven. Hell, I was driving at 10 and 13. <laughs> okay? So... Uh, shut up, Dice. Um, so if you're still doing it, that, that what y'all be doing here uh, is going in with Rhea versus Becky Lynch. So here it is at this point. Let me get through this, right? The Rock comes out, right? He goes, you don't get to pick the opponent. You messed up. You, my favorite line from Roman of all of them, you stupid. <laughs> when Roman says, you stupid, you don't understand, right? That's my favorite Roman, okay? So then Rock comes out, right? Half the crowd's booing them. Half the crowd ain't, right? They, anybody who says, this was literally 50-50, right? Initially, last week, I said, there's no way, right, that they actually put all this together ahead of time. I just don't, still don't believe that. If they did, man, it's like they say, man, they ain't that smart. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that just would have fallen into their hands, right? But, and I think this did just fall into their hands. So he comes out, we're going to do it for the people. We're going to do it for the culture. We're going to do it for the family, right? Look at the family tree. Look at that. You got people. Oh, my God. Uh-oh, hashtag death to her sheet. Oh, I can't wait for two words of too sweet coming up soon, okay? Because he is officially signed because his name's on the, on the tribal tree. This <laughs> shit. Cody isn't going to finish the story. Sure, I mean, not at Mania, I hope. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hashtag Hill Hollywood Rock. I'm with you. I'm with all hell the great ones. Should be the great ones. But I have a problem with that, too. Let me get through with these damn comments. Just keep them going. Just let them pop up there. Just send me up there. Just let me see them and, and let them sit there for like five seconds. If I stop, I stop. But I, I got to get through this shit. It's a long goddamn show, y'all. Okay? <laughs> okay? But damn it. Damn it, Sean. Crescent to our man, D-Block. He probably ain't watching this, though. But if he is, Crescent see your son getting into college. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? And, man, the family tree, the lineage there, and the crowd starts to boo. Roman's like, what's wrong? What's wrong with y'all? What are y'all stupid? Look at Rock's arms. He's just like, damn. Like, I know I made fun of him even for getting out of breath, too. But the Rock being out of shape is more in shape. The Rock's calves is more in shape than Mike Knox. Let's just be honest here, people. All right? So I think people, man, The Rock can't wrestle a match. Who gives a shit if he can wrestle a match? He's The Rock. <laughs> the Rock should bring back 2003 theme. Listen, The Rock should have used the thing they never really used, but only in one time, and that was the joke with him and Method Man. Okay? Uh, that's my favorite rock song, but, you know, they, they dabbed in the hip-hop. They were too afraid. You know what I'm saying? Let's put an album out. I will laugh my ass off if Cody loses. <laughs> Check it. Okay. So then they shake their hands. We're going to do it for the tribal people. It's going to be the biggest match in WrestleMania history. Hmm. Cody comes out, which <sighs> Nietzsche, 
I said your name already three times today, so you get you enough points. So Nietzsche on the on the kickoff show goes, watch. He's gonna say, you can't come out there and act like that. So Cody's gonna come out there and say, hey, I don't like you did that. You just can't do that. And and everything just changes because technically on SmackDown, he said, okay, you can take the place and I'm gonna finish my story not at WrestleMania, which technically was a verbal commitment. That's a contract. That's what Paul Heyman was complaining about. People, let's go into the NXT crew, right? NXT crew would say that is a technicality. Technically, Cody Rhodes can't wrestle Roman Reigns. Technically. Because a verbal contract, he said, I will not face you at WrestleMania. So hashtag we want Cody, y'all some bitches and some clown babies. But it's okay, I want Cody too. Just not a guess, not just not, but it can be rock and rolling. But then y'all mess up even more. As great as this is, y'all still messed up even more. Okay? So then, there it is. <laughs> you can't change your mind. He said it again. <laughs> what are you, stupid? We're the only family that matters. And he goes, yeah, family? How's Jay doing? Roman, that's, that's fighting words. When a Samoan drops his jacket, that's like a black girl taking her earrings off. It's on, okay? And, and you got to feel bad for them because all the, all the fans of, of the family, the Donawani family, all them San Francisco 49er fans lost yesterday. So, I mean, damn. He lost his match with The Rock, and he lost the Super Bowl. Damn, Tribal Chief. Is Cody really trying to take everything from you? Is he really? <laughs> Is this truly going to become, truly going to become Cody Mania? Like, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to see this, right? But you fans do. And as of right now, that's, that's where it looks like we're going, right? Because he takes his spot. He said, hey, there's more than one royal family. This family's royal too. And my people, you talk about me. Now, two months ago, maybe longer than that, right? I had this show where The Rock said, I think it was one when Rock came was on Pat McAfee that week. Remember I had the picture of Roman looking at Roman like a little cousin picture? He was all cheesing, right? That's what happened in this moment. Um, secretly believe Cody Roman and The Rock were working together to screw Roman. The Rock, you know what? The, the, the Roman's guard down and get him all fit and all comfortable. That's some Mike Tyson WrestleMania 14 shit. And I, I was going there with this today as well. So, way to be intelligent wrestling fans. Can we put a star by that? Because I'm going to start looking at these matches and things because things in 2024, y'all, make sure y'all like, phone, subscribe are going to change. Okay? The merch is coming. Things is coming. I can't be having all that stuff behind me on the wall. I can't keep getting blessed by beautiful companies like Chalkline and beautiful fans like my man Anthony and people out there that, that's been holding me down, King Vaughn Jr., those kind of things, and, and not start to show some gratitude and, and, and for you guys. Look at that. I just mentioned his name. Jesus Christ. If Cody wins, what do you, um, I'm sorry. If Cody wins, what are his promos going to do be like then? That's the thing, right? Everybody's talking about that. Once it gets the title, that's what you're going to do when the story is finished. Let's find out. It's, it, it can be boring. But anyway, here it is. This is where I got to come at all my black fans, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm talking to you. you. You put your thumbs up backstage, Vaughn. You, you in this, just so you know. I love you, but you're involved in this. Black, 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 black. Y'all got to stop. If I see one more goddamn Cody Rhodes mixed in with my Dr. Martin Luther King, okay, and my Malcolm the X, okay, and saying he belongs there with the forefathers of black social justice in America, y'all need to stop because that man is 100% a white man, okay? Just because he's down with the brown. Go back and watch the movie Malcolm X. It was in that, and I don't know if this is a true thing or not or not, but it was in the movie, Okay. This the girl came out from the college. He was speaking. She said, oh, I love you, Malcolm X. How can I do to help you out? He said, nothing. <laughs> okay. It was, so what the hell is Cody going to do for black America? But the smack her around the world right here. This, they want to put this in the black um, um, uh, national anthem there in D.C. They want to put this in the archives there. So disrespectful as we give respect to Black History Month. So, man, that's what it is. All right. Smack him in the face. Look at that. Rock, you, you, you. Hold on. You got to say it because Dice pointed out. Damn, that's four points. When The Rock says, let me make this perfectly clear. <laughs> it's getting serious in this piece. Okay. And it got so good that I don't know why y'all missed this. Why they ain't being talked about. My man Philip Brooks over there. Okay. On the side, all hurting shit. They got to do something because they just paid the man. He's like, 
on the John. Uh, there it is. Thank you. He, he's on. He's on the panel talking about. I told you the way it was like that. I told you. You can't do that, Steph Rollins. All day. you just come in here and do that shit, church. That's not right. You can't do this shit. You can't do that. The corporate. If this is a plan to screw to screw Roman Reigns, f every last single one of y'all. Okay, going backstage, he's like, "You see this shit? You better fix it." And then all of a sudden, the wrestling world say, "Oh my god, oh my god!" Because at this moment right here, right here, when we got this, and Triple H's face looking like this, then he came on SmackDown and he said one line and said, "Know your role," or it doesn't matter what you say. That was it was. It doesn't matter. All of a sudden, the wrestling world said. This is going to be Triple H pacemaker versus Rock out of shape. And some idiot fans out there right now, I'm sorry, look at my face. Look at my face. <laughs> I can't erase that from history. Okay. Look at my face. <laughs> Triple H is going to wrestle again. Y'all out there saying one more match and you still got it. <laughs> Y'all stop that. Those are, the, those are two of the worst chains in wrestling history. You still got it in one more match. And AEW fans, when it's a normal match, screaming, that's holy shit. <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> I can't get enough of it. Listen, we're going to take one more break. And then I'm going to ask you a question, right? Before I get into SmackDown, what happened with that next? Because I think what they did with this press conference is top five WWE moments of all time. Speaking of top fives, did y'all see the Super Bowl yesterday? <laughs> did y'all see? We're going to talk about the top five halftime performance at the Super Bowl. 